Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton, and I'm here at Productronica in Munich, and I'm joined by Scott Fuller-Brown from ACD. Scott, great to see you again. I think um, Texas was the last time. Yep. So what are you doing here in Europe? What are you doing here in Germany? Well, shopping? We, shopping? Well, always a little bit of shopping. You're always, always in the shopping mode. This mm -hmm. is uh, my kind of mall to go to, but uh, we're here to pick up an award for uh, being an EMS uh, Provider of the Year. Yeah. Okay. So it's... Uh, good to be doing that and it's good to see what's new out there in the industry. Okay, and the awards you're receiving, is that one of the Global Technology Awards that's been given this evening? Yep. Excellent. And that, why, why do you, think, I know it's categorized in terms of different different um, company size and stuff, why do you think you've been able to get that award? What do you think is pushing you out in front of your competitors at the moment? Well, I think, uh, uh, of course, it all goes back to your on time and quality yields and stuff like that, but I think one of the other things that has really helped uh, push us along are, are out-of-the-box thinking. Uh, we have a completely paperless uh, tracking system through our shop floor uh, that we're rolling out to give customers access to to see where their product is uh, uh, in the process, see how their kit looks in terms of getting it ready to go, and, and even uh, looking at their own inventory and let them know what their inventory levels right. are and, and stuff, so that really helps. And then. Uh, the booming area of our uh, company is uh, in our test department. We do a lot of test development and uh, running the final test, uh, functional test for our customers, and we're just uh, really different in the realms of what we can offer uh, yeah. through the test department. Okay, and in terms of if, if, if you were shopping here, if I gave you a, if I gave you a million dollars to spend in the next three days, what would you look for? What what's what? technology could you add that would really add value to your customers? Well, the good news is I would have two and a half days off because uh -huh. a million bucks I think I could make go away pretty quick. But, uh -huh. uh, where I'm really looking uh, for a lot of the, for us is, is still in the test department. Uh, we are uh, actively wanting to upgrade our flying probe testers and take right. those to the new, next level. Mm -hmm. Um, I like some of the uh, X-ray, the uh, 5DX type X-ray, so that that would be the area that I would probably uh, spend, yeah. spend your million dollars that you gave me. That's the yeah. that's the that's the Swedish shop for you, is it? The, yeah. Uh, the test and is there the opportunity to bring those those different test platforms together? I know some people talk about doing hybrid tests with um, with the uh, with the uh, boundary scan and other things on the same system. Are you seeing more of that? Is that valid? We, we are, and, um, and actually we were a leader in that. We bought uh, Acuologic's first uh, production unit of uh, putting flying probe and boundary scan together. Okay. So there was one other customer that had the, had it before them, or before us, and, and that was the customer that asked them to develop it. So we took uh, serial number one of that. Mm -hmm. And so we've been doing that and want to take that to the next level. That gives you some efficiencies going through the processes, but it also gives you some uh, ability to offer a better better quality product at a lower price to, mm -hmm. the, to the customer. Because yeah. uh, the more you test, the uh, more reliable the product uh, will be in the long run. Yeah, so. and I know you're working with overseas manufacturer, and, and I think one of your partners is in the Philippines, and I know it's been a really difficult week for them out there. They've had some horrendous stuff going on. You're transitioning stuff out there. How are they doing? Are they in good shape at the moment? Uh, fortunately, where our manufacturer is, they're in good shape. They're basically in Manila. Uh, they suffered some of the winds and rains yeah. and stuff like that, but uh, the, the devastation is, is a little further away from them, which yeah. is uh, uh, hard to look at the pictures. Yeah, it's pretty horrible, isn't it? And I guess that really pushes home the point of having that supply chain visibility, having that high level, not just visibility, but support that if something does go wrong, you can manufacture it locally, you can you can step in. That's right, the uniqueness to our model for overseas is that uh, we uh, warrant not only the product, but also the fact that it'll get manufactured. So we use our, our Dallas-based uh, mm -hmm. manufacturing operation as a backup to the Philippine uh, operation that we contract with. Yeah. So it works out works okay. out well. You hope you don't have to do it uh, no. because uh, someone's suffering if you do. Yeah, so. that's it. That's that's the issue, isn't it? That's the challenge. But good to see that it's all going well. Congratulations on the award. Thanks Thank for you. stopping by. We wish our friends in the Philippines as quick a recovery from that situation as possible. Thank but you. thanks for stopping by. Thank you so much. Appreciate thanks. it.